when you switch your YouTube channels over to YouTube One and design your video art, be sure to allow for your profile picture so that it doesn't cover up any of the verbiage. You can see I had to shift my my verbiage over and I also wanted to be sure that the link on the bottom right didn't cover up some of it. But the main reason I was put this video together was when I selected a video for my trailer uh, it worked fine but when I wanted to change it and put my mouse over the little pencil a crazy things started to happen like like what you see right there it just things just disappeared except for the still shot of the the uh, video that I had selected and no matter how many times I moved my mouse over that area where that little pencil was supposed to be it wouldn't even show up anymore and if I move my mouse over the video it just would do stuff like this it just flash on and off and I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to work around this because un until I moved the mouse around in some areas uh, the little pencil would never show up and then when it finally would show up it would do the same thing again you can see when I, my mouse is over there that it just refuses to um, display that little pencil again When I move the mouse over the little pencils for the other things, they work fine. I could uh, change them. I could cancel them. I could wrote. I, I could change uh, where they show up. So those pencils worked fine. It was just the the um, trailer that was acting up. And now you can see the mount the little pencils back. When I click on it, same thing. So once it reappears, it still does not work. And it's almost like. And I'm using Internet Explorer 8 with all the latest uh, updates so I have to show you what I did I went to video manager and once I got video manager I took the video that I had selected and I made it private Once I made it private, I saved. Then I went back to my channel. And now you can see in the middle the little trailer bar is back. And I clicked on that and select a different video. Now I the one I selected I couldn't save because I couldn't see the save button. So the trick here is to hit alternate and then your minus key up in the top row after the zero so alternate along with minus will reduce the view and when you do that you'll see that way down at the bottom right there is the save button so click on that and then to bring your your screen back up to the size you normally look at do alternate with the plus key and it'll re it'll bring your your viewing up to what you were seeing. Now I have my viewing set at 1024 by 768. You'll see once I change my my video trailer, it still does the same thing. You just saw it there when I hit the little pencil, it just refuses to allow me to change it. So this isn't something you're going to change very often, especially if you have a a video on there uh, that they recommend a minute or less to get people to sign up to your channel to become subscribers so it's probably won't you only do it one time but um, you can see that I would have to go back and make the original one 
public, which I did, I'm doing now, make that original video public so that it's viewable, and then I'm all set. And again, it won't take a lot of time. It won't be a lot of times that you do this, but that's hopefully will help those of you out who are having the same problem I am, uh, changing the trailer because the little pencil is not working. Enjoy.